Well, some people are worried about their credit score. I am worried about the score that my neighbors <laughs> assigned to my beautiful, lush green lawn. Yes, yes, oh, yes. we want the green lawns in Minnesota, don't we? Mm -hmm. Could explain why one survey found more than 40% of people with sprinkler systems in the Twin Cities water every other day. Now, no, most of us know we shouldn't use a sprinkler in the middle of the day. We shouldn't use the sprinkler while it's raining, right? right? right. So this stuff we know. But, but is there an ideal time to fire up the sprinkler and water? You shouldn't use it when you're raining. You shouldn't use it in the middle of the day. But but you have your sprinkler. You have it set at certain times. And are you if it's raining and you're not home, it's required in Minnesota that yeah. you have one of those the sensors, rain sensors, the rain right. sensor, and that. Right. But a lot of people, you know, if you if you've had that for 15, 20 years, then it doesn't. It's probably not yeah, working. It's only the past 10 years that yeah. that's actually been required. Yeah. And it, it gets crusty, that. and it can yep. it can fail mm -hmm. and all of those things so uh, w when you set people should be mindful of it yes, right yes 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 and so what our expert tells us is that we're actually way over watering our lawns and he says what our lawns need is four inches of water a month and generally during the months of June July and August it is raining four inches a month each of those months but he is talking about making sure that your lawn stays alive yes, not that your yes, lawn looks yes, beautiful yes, definitely. right yes yeah, so what he so what he's saying is lawns can kind of bounce back from where they are. Sure. And so he then also is not taking into consideration a little bit about what you talked about with the neighbors. I want it to look pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's exactly. that you see people, a lot of retired fellows, yeah. out there watering their lawn yeah. almost daily. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if I'll be like that someday. Yeah. Maybe. But right? you can tell the people in your neighborhood who have the in ground yeah. sprinklers right. and the ones that don't, and there is a difference. So, he's, but, so, so yeah. if you have to. Yeah, so let's get to the answer you, of the yeah. question. Yeah. The ideal time, he says, is 6 a.m. Interesting. Because that's when we are up, we are eating breakfast, mm -hmm. we are perhaps checking out our. Uh, what our sprinkler system is doing. Uh, We're checking it out. So for you can weeks. see it yeah. also. So he says a lot of people do it. They'll put it on at eight at night, nine at night, one in the morning. And what happens then is the lawn never gets a chance to dry. So it can have mildew. It can have all kinds hmm. of different diseases. Right. So if you put it on when the dew is on, you put it on between four and seven a.m., then it gets the moisture it needs and then it continues to um, dry out throughout the day. Yeah. yeah. We run our, the, the uh, sprinkler company set it for two in the morning. But I wake up ah. at 2.30 and shower oh, at 2.30 and did not really appreciate that, so yeah. I moved it to 3. <laughs> um, Maybe but now you can push it up to 4 Push it a little five. back. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. Well, it's good to know that if you are really just concerned about the health of your lawn, yeah. you can dial it down. Mm -hmm. if lawns are resilient, I think, too. They are. We, we yes. panic. Well, that's we why that we use that, that uh, Kentucky bluegrass, right? Bluegrass, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.